In this video, I'm going to show you how to create additional emails. When you log into WebStars, you're going to see an email icon on the far right here. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to give me the username, the password to log into the email account. We log in, and what we want to do is log into the account. When you're logged in, you're going to see all your emails. Over on the far right here, you're going to see a gear. When you run your mouse over, it's going to say settings. If you click on it, it's going to open up an option where you're going to see the option manage this domain. If you click on this, it's going to open up the Google app dashboard. From here, you should see in this middle area your domain name and a number of users. Right now, you see there's one. And so if I go ahead and click on this, it's going to take me to an area where I can create additional users. So I can go ahead and click on create new user here and I would need to put in a name for them. So let me put in my name. And then let's say I want to create a contact us email. Okay, now there are two options I have. Either I can create a temporary password or I can set a password. Either option are available to you. So as an administrator, you can set a password for people and hand it to them, or you can just have Google generate a password for you. Let's just go ahead and have it generate a password for you. Click on create new user. And you have two pieces of instructions they can use. You can either email this instruction to the person you're creating the account for, or you can print out the instruction and give it to them. Let's just go ahead and click uh, print the instructions here. Okay. And here I can see I've created the user contact us, and I have a temporary password here. Okay. And like I said, I can also email this and I can send it to, and they can have all the same information as the printed out version. All right, so let's just click on done. And then, as you can see, a, the account was created. If I click on this account, I can actually set permissions too. At any time, I can rename the name, I can change the password. This is the power I have as the administrator. Uh, I can also set up various settings here to enable certain features, and I can also set up privileges. So he, I can make this account holder the super administrator or restrict certain things as well within the account. So let's go ahead and log into this for the first time. We we'll do that, we have to log out. And then you get to the login screen here, and let's just... Okay, that was the username I created, and then that should be the temporary password I was assigned. All right, when you first sign into account, it's going to ask you to agree to some terms and conditions for the Google account, as well as enter a CAPTCHA here. And if you enter it wrong, it will have you do it again. And then it'll have me want to change the password. And at this point, I'm in the login for the secondary account. I can click on email. And I'm in the contact us email for the domain name. For more tips and tricks, and also how to learn how to build your own free web starts website, go to www.webstarts.com.